In this video, I'll show you how to convert your cheap controller to have 16 channel Bluetooth simulator support and attach LoRa to achieve tens of kilometers. So this is how it's working. The transmitter sends to the receiver and the receiver sends to the ESP32 and it converts the PWM signal into LoRa and sends to the LoRa. The receiver LoRa collects the data and sends to the ESP32. The ESP32 converts the data into IBIS protocol and sends to a fly controller. The system also supports virtual channels and Bluetooth control. So how the Bluetooth control works is the controller sends data to the receiver and the transmitter ESP sends to the PC via Bluetooth for playing games or simulators and it also put Wi-Fi hotspot which you can connect and go to the website for getting additional 10 more channels. To make it you will be needing two LoRa modules and two ESP antenna and jumper cables and depending upon your LoRa now I am having a LoRa uh, 433 megahertz in some countries you will uh, able to get LoRa 915 megahertz if you are having LoRa 915 megahertz I will show you how to change the code it's very simple now you will able to find a different LoRa modules as long as the connection is same it will work on any LoRa module and you can see the connection First of all, you have to take your ESP32, take jumper cables and connect 5, 19, then 27, then 18, then 14, and connect to 26. We have uh, made the connection for data. Now we need two more wires for powering the LoRa module. Now LoRa modules always connect the LoRa modules with 3.3 So most of the ESP have 3.3 as you can see here this has 3.3 And connect it 3.3 and ground Now take the LoRa module and start connecting So the the pin I connected first was pin number 5 Pin number 5 is the, is the black one so, so pin number 5 goes to the SCK which is here you can see the SCK now connect the SCK then you have to connect 18 pin number 18 to MISO and then MOSI then NSS so to connect that pin number 14 goes to the reset which is here then the last data cable goes to the uh, DITO there we have it so we can get to the last wire to the DITO it's a uh, and connect the positive and negative to the LoRa. I've connected the wires, so you have to connect the same way again. I already made it, so you see here, this is the second LoRa, and this is the first LoRa. Now, both wiring of LoRa's are same, so you don't, you can interchange it, no big deal. You see, uh, we need to make one as transmitter and other one as receiver. Now LoRa modules are transceiver modules so you can flash the code uh, for a transmitter or receiver on any of the ESP. But the major thing we're gonna change is on the transmitter side we have to add a receiver. So this is a FlySky receiver controllers controls to this receiver. Now this receiver is going to get connected to our ESP32. So the ESP is going to send data to the LoRa and the LoRa is going to give us the range. So we have to connect this to any of the ESP. Now, if I connect with this ESP, this is going to be the transmitter and we have to give the code for the transmitter for this ESP. And this is going to be the receiver. I'm going to connect to this ESP, take jumper cables. take two jumper cables so negative and positive now we have to connect the channel data lines we start connecting with the left side as you can see I've connected the jumper wire to the receiver now what you need to do is take any of your ESP so I'm going to use this ESP as the transmitter and connect the wire from channel 1 to 6 so this is the pin number 15 connect the first channel 1 to 15 
then the second channel goes to the 2 then 0 then 4 then we have to take the remaining two channels to the 16 and 17 so this is how your ESP is going to look like and we have to connect the 5 voltage but if you are going to upload the code you should not connect the 5 voltage because your ESP will not upload the code there are some issues that I found after uploading the code you can connect the 5 voltage right now I am only connecting the ground go to the github page and download the latest version of the code inside you will see tx and rx code upload the code to tx and upload the code to rx ppm input pins and you can change the pin number if your ESP don't have GPIO 0 as you can see I haven't connected the receiver yet uh, just the transmitter now I've turned it on and this is the uh, controller that I'm having on PC if you want to play simulator games you have to connect to the Bluetooth which will be called RC controller LoRa connect to it and you will be able to play games on your PC so change to this as you can see it's working very well it's on Bluetooth so you don't need to connect to the ESP and this is total access 3 X1, X2, X4 and X5 and you can go and play any game So uh, I have a ESP32 based uh, drone as you can see here uh, and uh, you have to give the 5 voltage to the ESP uh, which is this one so I'm going to connect the ESP uh, with the 5 voltage in ground so after that you have to connect the drone's receiver RX to the ESP32's pin number 17 after you connect that I'm going to connect my drone to the beta flight so this is the drone that I'm having and go to the uh, receiver and you see the uh, throttle values everything is now working and the uh, I have two aux here you can see the aux are aux 2 this is aux 2 and this is the aux 1 now in the transmitter side uh, you will get a hotspot if you connect to the connect to the hotspot as you can see I have uh, this is the hotspot channel LoRa connect to the hotspot and you will see this page in your chrome on 192.168.4.1 now you see this is a channel 7 so you can change the channel 17 you can see the channel aux 3 so channel 7 this is the virtual channels so this is the virtual channels you can see channel 7 to channel 16 change the uh, 7 and you will see the aux 3 change and the channel 8 to change it you see the Oxford change, you can see there uh, everything is working. So channel 11 is 7. Now the um, beta flight is limited to Ox 10. On my ESP based beta flight, if you are having INAP, you will be able to use the remaining two channels. Now, when configuring, you have to change to IBIS protocol. And uh, depending upon your uh, UART of your receiver so for mine which is UART2 if you like my video consider to subscribe and give a like